All right, class. Last video, we discussed uh, the Ken Kratz response to the media. And in that video, at the end, I stated that we would revisit the last three statements that I read of Mr. Kratz in that video and get a little deeper into, um, you know, a rebuttal. You should be familiar with that word, Mr. Kratz. Uh, now, Mr. Kratz, again, I'm going to reiterate here, he said that Obama wouldn't have any pardon opportunity because it's a state case. Mr. Kratz, may I remind you that the president does have the executive power to pardon inmates, and he's been doing so for the last couple of months or so on nonviolent Drug offenders? Pay the fuck attention, dude. Um, then he proceeded to say, I doubt the executive office is going to weigh in in any substantial way. First of all, the executive office gets involved. You're fucked and you already know it. Second of all, if uh, this whole thing with the it's a state case bullshit, uh, then why was the FBI involved? by your office. So it's okay if the federal government gets involved as long as it's on your side, but you don't think it's possible that the federal government could have any right to get involved when it's not for your side. Fuck you, you idiot. Apparently whatever law school you went to, I need to go to that school and smack the shit out of the Dean of Students because you obviously did not get the education. I, I don't know how the fuck you managed to even pass the bar. Seriously. Um, his final remark uh, from these several news pieces uh, was, it is unfortunate that the victim's family really has to go through this kind of nonsense, that law enforcement is responsible for the death of their family member rather than those convicted. Mr. Kratz, when the fuck did anybody ever say that the law enforcement officials were responsible for her death. No one ever said that. No one ever said that. Why don't you go back through the transcript of the trial, because I know you have one, and actually read through it. Go through with a fine-toothed comb, and you find a place anywhere where someone says that either of those officers was responsible for her death, that they fucking killed her. No one ever insinuated that. All they insinuated, all that was stated was that the law enforcement officers involved in the case, two of them, were responsible for planting evidence against Stephen Avery. That's all anybody ever fucking said. And you know what? You know it's fucking true. You know it's true. You can't possibly be this fucking thick. Because if you are, how you're not drooling on your own chin at this point, I'll never know. Now... Um, there was one thing that I said in the last video that I wanted to clarify when, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Kratz stated that Stephen Avery had called Teresa Hallbach's phone three times the day of the murder, twice, uh, using star 67 to block his number. And I stated, what were the times of those calls? I would like to explain why that's important. Depending on the times of the calls, if it was before the time that, she was supposed to arrive for their appointment. Yeah, that would be a little suspect. I would I would question that. If it was after that time, it could be he had a question or he noticed something, like a member of his family doing something shady or that her car was on the property or a car that looks similar to hers was on the property. And he was wanting to check and see if she was still on the property. It could be that he was just trying to check in with her, see if she's okay. Stephen Avery seems to be a very caring individual. And if you remove the assumption of guilt and you look at it from that standpoint, who the fuck wouldn't? Who wouldn't call someone when they notice something fishy that may or may not be tied to that person on their property where a lot of family members live just to see what was going on. I would do it. Some of these things can be explained away, people. We will deal with more of this uh, Stephen Avery case in future videos. If you have anything to comment, please do. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.